was more than just a great set of boots. What up, what up, what up? Inky Man with another edition of the Inky Man Men's Show. How you doing? Football season in full swing. My Patriots did it. I belong to two fantasy football leagues. Check out some of my stats. I don't think I'm doing too bad. As you can see, your boy is right here. Right here. Getting that one. I'm in one. I'm, I'm in one. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm, I'm down one. Da, da, down one. Down. So, you know. One and one ain't bad. One and one ain't bad. So, um, I just gotta do a little bit more homework. So now let's let you know it's it, this, it's the it's the time of the moment. Happy Hump Day unto you, Woman Crush Wednesday. You know how we do. Let's get into this one. I'll let her introduce herself. <laughs> You know, when I curate a cutie, I curate a cutie. If you can recall, last episode, we were talking about banter, and I kind of correlated it with football. So, I had some comments that came from some of y'all. Let's take it away. AJW, I'm with you. You know, being a Patriots fan, wait a minute, wait a minute. Being a Patriots fan, even though we've won a whole ton of games, can still put you in a bad position as far as rooting for them. And I know when I was a Chargers fan, even though Patriots was still my number one team, but when I lived out in San Diego and I was a Chargers fan, there was some die hard Chargers fan, even though they would get to the playoffs and then just lose it at the end. You know what I mean? So, Chargers. Root for your team. Root for your team. Root for your team. That's my advice to you. Thanks for commenting, AJW. Yo, D, give me some help on this one. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fair enough, X. Tiki, what's up, girl? Um, <clears throat> I know you've seen that game. <laughs> what's the difference between your team and my team? What's the difference between your team and my team? Sorry for yelling. Next comment. LS, this is true. It does matter who you're in banter with. Sometimes you have to test the water to see if people have that tough skin. But for the ones that you know, it's a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? And that's why this has come up because the guy that I engage in banter with, we just go at it, man. And at one point when he first came out doing this stuff, I was thinking, man, what, you know, what's going on with this dude? But then once I realized that I had a big cup of estrogen sitting in front of me, I had to pour it all out and dig in. You dig? So with me, banter is nothing. 
you know, words are nothing. And as a matter of fact, banter has gotten me to a point that words aren't anything. There are power in words, but only if you give it power. If you don't give it any power, it means nothing. Let someone continue to insult you, insult you, insult you, insult you, and you don't do anything. See what happens. Guaranteed, they look like a sucker every time they open their mouth, and in their face, you can see it. You dig? But if you have tough enough skin to get in there, it's the same result. So it depends. It depends on who you're dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? And with that being said, I want to thank everybody who tuned in for the comments and said anything and had anything to say. Appreciate it all. Let me now get into my version of today's topic, more banter. So we playing the Dolphins this week. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I have some Dolphins fans that lived in Florida, you know, and I had to hear about it when I was wearing all my Patriot stuff. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. But this is what I have to say about that i found this on google i thought it felt pretty pretty appropriate and with that being said y'all have a good one y'all have a good one now it's time for some bye bye boobs how this goes those that have snapchat snap this picture follow me on my journey later